Today, let's dive into the amazing atmosphere of Mars, the red planet. Now, imagine you're on Mars. What's the air like? Well, Mars has an atmosphere, just like Earth, but it's very different. The atmosphere of Mars is super thin, which means there's not a lot of air to breathe. It's mostly made up of carbon dioxide, which is a gas that plants on Earth breathe in. But wait, there's more! Mars' atmosphere also has some other cool stuff, like tiny bits of dust floating around. And guess what? Sometimes, Mars has big dust storms that cover the whole planet. They're like huge whirlwinds of dust blowing around. But don't worry, these dust storms aren't too scary. They're just part of what makes Mars so unique. So, my little space adventurers, isn't Mars' atmosphere fascinating? There's always something new to discover in the vastness of space. Imagine a big, cool robot exploring a faraway planet called Mars. This robot is called a rover. It's like a space explorer that moves around on wheels, just like a car. But instead of driving on roads like we do on Earth, it drives over rocks, sand, and even up hills on Mars. Now, why do we send rovers to Mars? Well, Mars is a planet that scientists are very curious about. They want to learn all they can about it, like what it's made of, what the weather is like, and if there's any sign of life. But it's too far away for people to go there just yet. So, we send these special robots to do the exploring for us. The rover is controlled by scientists and engineers back here on Earth. They send commands and receive pictures and data from the rover to learn about Mars. It's like playing with a really cool remote control car, but it's on another planet. One of the most famous Mars rovers is called Curiosity. It's as big as a car and has been exploring Mars since 2012. It has cameras to take pictures, instruments to study the rocks and soil, and even a laser to zap rocks and find out what they're made of. How cool is that? So, whenever you look up at the night sky and see the twinkling red dot of Mars, just remember there's a brave little rover up there, rolling around and discovering new things about our mysterious neighbor in space. Who knows, maybe one day, humans will go there too, thanks to all the information these rovers are sending us. <laughs>